morning everyone may god bless you may you have an, an abundant a blessed 2024 ahead of you in fact today it is the very first day of the year and for some inclusive you who are watching let us suppose that this year is starting now and it is not going the way that you want it started already with accidents. It started already with fights. It started already with you being in despair. That's the right word. You are desperate. You, you don't know what to do anymore. You, you had in your mind where that, no, I'm going to wait for this, this year to come to an end and I will resolve these problems that I have, or I'll feel better, or so on and so forth, whatever that applies. But what I want, uh, the point is, you just spent your night wishing for something to be changed, but the matter of fact is that perhaps you just woke up now because you drank a lot, or you uh, partied a lot and you perhaps cannot even sleep and the thing is you are in pain that's it you are in pain you are suffering you are you know desperate for a way out and you are wondering can God really help me is there a God out there is there a God out there who can hear to my cries who can hear or can see my pain is there a God out there that he understands what I am going through? Well, there is, there is. And that it is the reason why we are here today together already in this morning to tell to you that this year doesn't have to be the same year that it was 2023. That is a year of losses, a year of pain, a year of, of trouble for you God he is well able to change your situation in your life and I want to address to you you who feel exactly like this hopeless you feel hopeless you don't know what to do anymore of your life do not give in do not turn your back do not turn your back away look how what God how God sees your situation right now Look how God, he looks at you and sees your situation right now. Pay attention. It says here, you keep track of all my sorrows. You have collected all my tears in your bottle. You have recorded each one in your book. You've kept track of my every toss and turn through the sleepless nights, each tear entered in your ledger and each ache written in your book. So you see, look, when you thought that um, nobody understands you, nobody can help you, nobody can, you know, deliver you from that situation, here in the book of Psalms we see that. That what? That God, He cares about us. Nothing has been unnoticed in the eyes of God. God knows what happened yesterday. God knows about that fight that you had with your family. God knows about that uh, problem that you are having with your children. God knows about this problem that you are having uh, within yourself. You are sad and empty. You are feeling trying to fill a void with, uh, you know, things like uh, you drink, you smoke, and yet you, you are, you know, empty. There is no sense of hope. You feel like that. But God, you see, God is keeping a track of everything that you do. Isn't that powerful? Perhaps you wonder, okay, but if he is keeping track, can he do also something so that my life is changed. Can he help me out? Yes, he can. Yes, he can help you. 
He can do what nobody can do for you. He can do what your family can't. He can do what, what your, your, your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, drugs, whatever it is. God can do everything. Nothing is too hard for him. Nothing is too hard to him. And so already now in this moment as we spoke, as we spoke, I want to invite you to pray, to, to pray together with me. To pray together with me. Because here it is saying like this. You have collected my tears in your bottle. You have recorded each one in your book. You have kept track of my every toss and turn through the sleepless nights. So God knows this is who you are. And you know this is who you are as well. This is who you are. But as we just read, God knows. And right now in this moment, we are going to pray. We are going to pray. And no matter how bad your situation is, the problem that you have this year does not have to be like 2023. This year does not have to be like all the years that you suffered. It's true. Whatever happened, happened. You cannot change what happened in the past. You cannot change what you have done yesterday. I cannot change what I have done yesterday. But I can change and decide to do something about right now what I'll do. So I'm going to invite you to do this. My friend, grab a bottle of water or a cup of water. I want you to, to present. We are going to present this to God now. We're going to present this to God. And as you drink of this cup of water, this sadness, this tears, this pain that you have, you can be certain you are going to break free from that. And then after we are going to come back, I'm going to show to you here a very powerful story because if it was possible for this person, it is possible for you as well. But I want you to focus now in this prayer. And while we are going to watch this prayer call, write there, what are your tears in the comments? What are your tears? I want you to write there. Look, my tears is my son. My tears, it is my Husband, my tears is a financial loss. My tears is this emptiness. My tears is this depression, this void that I am feeling here right now. These are the tears that I have. These are the tears that I have. Write them down. And right now, we are going to pray. Let's watch this call here for prayer. And while you write, prepare your water. Let's pray. When we pray to God, we can receive strength, courage, faith, peace and anything we sincerely ask for. Take advantage of this moment, close your eyes, and raise your thoughts to God. It's time to pray. My God and Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as these people, as this man, this woman, this youth have written their tears here on this, this comment section, their request, their prayer, and even those who haven't yet even been able to write anything, but you know how painful their situation has been. You know how hard their situation has been. And so, my God, I pray that you deliver them right now. I pray, my God, that you hear to their prayer right now. I pray, my God, that whatever they are, your power touching their life, touching their body, touching their health, touching their heart, and this sadness, this emptiness, this void that it is there. You said, my God, in your word that with you, Nothing is too hard, nor is impossible. So my God, right now in this moment, this depression that seems to have no end, this pain that seems to have no end, as we pray, as we cry out to you, my God, reach to this soul, to the bottom of this soul, and this spirit of darkness, that it is inflicting confusion, pain, 
my God, that it is inflicting disease, that it is inflicting these problems into them. Let right now in this moment be destroyed, be removed from their body. And when they drink of this water, my God, what never happened till then, it will happen in the name of Jesus by faith we determine. My friend, drink of the water now. And right now in this moment, receive the touch of God. Receive your deliverance. Receive right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Be blessed right now in this very moment. Receive your healing. Receive now the miracle. Receive the miracle of God. Receive now by faith. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed. And if you agree, take a deep breath and say, I believe. Amen. Look at me. You are blessed. You are free. I, I, I really doubt that you feel in the same way. You know, make a test there. Move your body. Even if you had pain, you are healed. You are free from that. Amen. Believe in this. Believe in this, my friend. Believe. And now, what is the next step? Well, the next step is that I want you to Believe and put your hope in the one that will not let you down. In the one that will not disappoint. 2023 was a year of disappointment, perhaps for you. But if right now you make a decision to team up with the creator, to team up with what the word of God says here for you, my friend, you will have still challenges, but you are going to overcome. And that's what this, this amazing testimony that we are going to watch now uh, happen with it, with that person. And I want you to pay very close attention to his story, the details of the story. And then we are going to come back. And again, this is an amazing story. And you who feel hopeless, when you hear a story like this, you know, if it happened to them, it is very possible to happen to you and it, it will happen to you because God doesn't make assumptions of people God wants to change your life like change their life let us watch this testimony now true faith intelligent faith doesn't mourn have regrets or get easily excited true faith is tough and resilient like steel just like righteousness this is the only faith that pleases the most high who isn't fooled by the pleadings of an emotional heart. Whoever believes makes the effort to act their faith. They take steps of courage that look foolish in the eyes of the world, but that's how they end up seeing amazing wonders. The Lord gave us an example of this when he spoke to a fig tree in front of his disciples. The Lord Jesus is the author and finisher of faith which means that he created faith to be a tool of communication between himself and mankind. It's impossible to approach him without faith. Like an invisible bridge, it leads us to his throne of justice and makes us righteous. How can we find it? The simple fact of hearing and meditating on the Bible's teachings enables us to absorb the spirit of the word, which is the spirit of faith. So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, Romans 10, 17. The Lord Jesus Christ is the word made flesh and his spirit is the spirit of faith. By listening to the word with humility, the spirit of faith immediately springs into action and brings about the faith that seems like foolishness to those who are lost. When I was a child, I was sexually harassed when I was in a babysitter. And because of that, I started having, I started getting very angry. I started being depressed. At nine years old, I was already depressed when everyone was like normal. I was there being angry. I was depressed. I would cry a lot. I started having hatred towards my family. I started wanting to. I didn't think anyone understood me. I thought that everyone was against me and men I couldn't see I couldn't see them close to me. I started even thinking I was bisexual because of the fear against that I had against guys. I 
I was very lonely. I, my mom didn't understand what was going on, my dad. So, and then I started having depression. I started doing drugs even. I started going to parties and trying to fill that emptiness that I had inside of me. I remember I would be with everyone. I would be at parties. I would be doing whatever I needed to do with... I had the attention that I, I've always wanted. So I got to the point that I had the attention of everyone, but even that didn't have value to me. I would be there at, zoned out. I would be, I don't want to be here. I, I just, I just want to die. That was the only thing that was, there was days that I, all I thought was about that. I was like, I don't, I don't want to be here. I don't, I believe that God didn't exist. I became an atheist. I became a person that was always fighting. I would hit on walls. I would yell at my mom. I would yell at my parents. I would yell at everyone that came next to me. So I became that person that had everyone started becoming someone very angry and no one knew why. No one thought I had a reason to be. Because whoever saw me thought I was that girl that was happy, that was always that I was always at parties, I was always with everyone. But they saw that it wasn't. And then it would start being no one respects me, no one loves me, no one cares about me. Oh, if I die today, there's it's okay. That was what always passed through my mind. So one day Someone invited my mom to the Universal Church and she started doing her purposes for me. She started praying for me because she knew there was something wrong. She didn't know what it was, but she knew there was something wrong. Little by little, something started changing inside of me. I realized that I didn't want that life anymore. And one day I remember I went to a service and I even said that um, I didn't I didn't understand how to pray. I remember that I the only thing I said was that I don't I don't know if you exist. But if you do exist, I want my life to change. I don't want to be like this anymore. I'm tired of it. If not, I'm going to kill myself. That was what I said. After that prayer, I remember that I felt lighter. I felt different. The first things that I started seeing change in my life, I was able to sleep again. I was able to not argue when something happened. I started realizing that there was a certain peace inside of me that I didn't have ever. Even when I was younger, I'd, I never had that peace. And I started seeking more of God. I started asking Him to live inside of me. I wanted the Holy Spirit. After I saw those results, I started going to the services every day. I started seeing that I started getting lighter. I started getting happier. I started having a reason to live. I wasn't depressed anymore. I baptized in the waters. I seeked more. I took that old Mayata out and I started seeking more to put that new one. I didn't know how, I didn't know how to start, but little by little, the pastors would explain to me and I started seeking the Holy Spirit. And that the day that I received it, it was, it was completely different. It was something that I've never experienced before. It was a joy, completely transformed. Today I'm someone who is completely happy. I don't need to search for drugs. I don't need to search for guys. I don't need to search for anyone to, find, to fill that emptiness because I don't have an emptiness anymore. That person that fought with her mom, with her dad, now is the daughter that gives them love, gives them care. And today I can help those that need help the same way I came once and I needed it as well. Today I do not have any confusion in my mind anymore. I don't feel empty. I don't feel anything. It's like it's... The old Mayada even, doesn't even exist anymore. She's completely transformed, She's a different person. To people that went through the same situation as me, I would say first that everyone thinks it's always their fault. It's, it's not their fault. There is a solution. There is someone who wants to give you that love that maybe you don't feel, maybe that you're, you don't understand why it happened to you. There's, there is someone who wants to protect you, someone who does love you. I would invite all of them to come to the Universal Church and receive what I receive because there's, not, there's nowhere you can go to receive the same thing that today I feel. Today, it's completely trans I'm completely transformed. I'm completely different than the person I was before. What a powerful story, isn't it? What a powerful story. Imagine you being in the shoes of that person, experiencing what that person was experiencing, and as you can imagine, for someone who goes through something like that, they will probably thought the same. How can I come out of this situation? How can my life be transformed? How can I, you know, put an end to this suffering? But you see that when this person decided to cling, to come to God, to the one who can really help, not to come to religion, not to come to church, 
Church, yes, they, they eventually came to learn, but what I mean is not to be engaged in, in religious practices. No, we are not talking about that. We are talking about when the decision was made to come to God and to submit their lives into what he says, into what he, he had determined, then look at the result. Look at the transformation. Look at the before and look at the after. So my friend, God wants to do this with you. Are you willing for that? Well then, my friend here, you know, display 153 North Northumberland Street, we have our churches open here. Likewise, we have in other states. And even if you are further, you are in a different country, you who want help, you who want to learn what to do, my friend, the doors are open to you. Go to the near universal church that you can find. The same faith, the same spirit, the same message, the same word, the same God. It is there waiting for you. And as you can see, successful stories, people's changing their lives, the same, it will happen to you. So I leave here the addresses. I leave here this beautiful song with you. And what is my invitation for you? Run to, run to one of our centers, help centers, as fast as you can. We are here also available for counseling. What I mean is, don't just stay there. Cross your arms. Wait for 2024, something better come to pass. No, it's time for you to act. Let us act our faith. You have faith. You have faith. The proof of that is that you are watching this program now. You have faith. So let us uh, learn how to use this faith in an effective way. I mean, you are blessed. All of you are blessed. Feel free to write here your comments, your prayer requests. And again... We are here available, ready to help you. Remember, God knows all the pains that you go through and he records everything as we just read. Okay, so before we leave, I will leave here this Bible verse again with a background music there. Very briefly, for you to take a note, think about it, and then we'll put this beautiful song so that you can also contemplate and we'll see you here next time. May God bless you abundantly. God is with you. The cross upon which Jesus died Is a shelter in which we can hide And its grace is so free Is sufficient for me And deep is its fountain as wide as the sea there is room where the cross for you there is room at the cross for you though millions have come there's still room for one yes there's room at the cross for you. 